the shutter in your camera is a little bit like the shutter you'd have over a bedroom window. You open the shutter, light comes in through the window, you close it and the light is cut off. If you have the shutter open and then closed, you get a bit of light come in and then it goes dark again. That's exactly what the shutter in your camera does. Let me show you more. I'm going to use my old Mamiya here because it's much easier to show you what I'm on about. Right, now I've got the lens and the back off. In here, that's the camera's shutter, this little curtainy thing in the back. When you press the shutter button, and I'm going to use something like a two second exposure so it's long enough for you to see, the shutter opens and then light comes in and then it closes again, just like that. That's all there is to it. The faster the shutter speed, the less light gets in. So if I was to set a very fast shutter speed, I'm going to go with a 500th of a second. You're not even going to see it happen. There you go, that's all there is to it. The shutter on your DSLR camera is just the same as this. And it's this little number on the left here. As I turn the shutter speed dial, you can see those numbers changing. That is the speed of your shutter. Now, if you just have a straight number like this, it's a fraction. Imagine a one forward slash in front of the number. So here you've got a 180th of a second. If I get down to lower numbers like a tenth and beyond, you'll see I'll start to get a little speech mark like that. That means they're whole seconds. That means that's a two second exposure, a very long time for the shutter to be open, light to come in and then close again. That's about all there is to a shutter. It's used for controlling exposure predominantly. Creatively, there's very little you can do with it apart from freeze or blur motion. I'm sitting next to a little stream here. If I set a fast shutter speed, I should be able to freeze the little droplets of motion, little droplets of water. Let's... Yep, that's pretty good. Now, if I set a slow shutter speed, I'm going to go all the way down here to about a quarter of a second. That movement in the water will blur because the shutter is open, the water's moving and the light off the water is consequently moving on the sensor. So you get the blur. Right, let's have a look at the pictures. As I flick between the two here, in the first image, where I used a faster shutter speed, the droplets of water are all frozen. It's absolutely static. In the second, where I was using a quarter of a second, the shutter opened, the water moved, and then the shutter closed again. So the water is blurred. That's the basis of the cotton candy waterfall technique. Now, in order to get those shots, I had to do other things to make sure that I had the correct exposure. But I don't want to go into that right here and now. I just want you to get what a shutter, what a shutter is and what a shutter speed is. Also, to get the blurry shot, I really ought to use a tripod. But I wedged my elbows into two flower pots down here in order to keep the camera steady. So though you can use a shutter creatively, to blur or freeze motion, it is predominantly an exposure control, and that's about it.